in this lesson, I wanna teach you about the 1000 true fans concept by Kevin Kelly. Now, the reason that this is extremely important is it's just such an incredible concept for you to think about when it comes to developing your tribe and building your audience. So basically, Kevin Kelly, he came up with this concept and study that basically says that you only need 1,000 people that actually like you, that actually love your content and you as a content creator, they, 1,000 people to be able to make a full-time living. So if you can have a thousand people that will pay you $100 every single year, that actually equates to $100,000. And that's like incredible, right? So this is the concept that I want to be the guiding light that you really think about when it comes to developing and cultivating your audience and your tribe. So to quote Kevin Kelly, he says, to be a successful creator, you don't need millions. You don't need millions of dollars or millions of customers or millions of clients or millions of fans. To make a living as a craftsperson, a photographer, a musician, a designer, an author, an animator, an app maker, an entrepreneur, or an inventor, you only need thousands of true fans. So you're probably wondering, well, that sounds great, Nathan. What the hell is a true fan? Well, Kevin Kelly describes that as somebody that will buy anything that you produce. And that exists in the marketplace. Like, think of it yourself. Is there somebody or a brand or a person that if they do anything, you're just going to buy it? Like, I'm a really, really big fan of Elon Musk. Now, I haven't got a Tesla yet. It's one of my dreams. But as soon as that Tesla comes, like, you know, probably when I can afford it, I'm going to get that Tesla. I'm a massive, massive fan. Now, that's uh, maybe not the best example, but because the Tesla is so expensive. But if you think of it like my girlfriend, for example, she loves a brand called Glossier, and they're a makeup care brand. And any new makeup that they put out, she's just the biggest fan. She's like, take my money. I just love these guys so much. And she is a true fan of that product. So how does this concept apply to you? Well, what I want you to really think about and really focus on for the entirety of this course and the entirety of you building your online business in you know, selling digital products is you need to focus on just getting a thousand true fans. That's all it takes. Don't worry about millions of people and comparing yourself to founder. This is like, how do you build and cultivate a relationship with just 1,000 people on your email list? And your email list is the bridge of how you're going to speak to these people. Like, this all sounds great, Nathan, but how the hell do I cultivate 1,000 true fans? How do I get 1,000 true fans? So I'm gonna give you some examples of some of the things that I did in the early days for Founder um, to cultivate our you know, 1,000 true fans. And one thing that I did in the early days of starting Founder when I was just trying to build the brand was I read about this incredible concept by a person called Paul Graham. And he's the, one of the co-founders of a company called Y Combinator. It's the largest startup accelerator in the world. And that's where like Airbnb, Dropbox have come from. And he talks about this concept called doing things that don't scale where what you wanna be doing is effectively rolling up your sleeves and going one-to-one. -one. Rolling up your sleeves and just really speaking to people one-to-one. -one. Forget all this automation, forget all this leverage rubbish, just actually speak to people as human beings. It, do, it doesn't scale, but that's the whole point. So what we did in the early days was when we sent somebody an ebook or a lead magnet, um, what we did was we had an email autoresponder series. So we would send people an email with a link to the ebook. And then like a day later, I would send them my story and I'd like share a story. And I can we can actually share this stuff with you in the resources, these templated emails. And, and basically what we did was I actually you know, told my story, what I'm working on with Founder, what the dream is for the business, where we're trying to take it, why it exists. And I actually put the most important line. I said something along the lines of, um, I, just so you know, I read every single email. I'd love to hear from you, please do respond. And then like a week later, I sent somebody an incredible email. It's very short, it's very simple. 
And this one allowed me to go really deep on one-to-one. So the first email where I told my story, some people responded and I'd actually respond and I'd actually find out how we could further serve. I'd find out what kind of content that they were reading right now. I'd find out recommendations. I'd find out where they were finding us. One of the best things you can do is ask somebody that's following you when it comes to building your audience, how did you find out about us? Because from that, you can find out what marketing is working, what marketing is hitting, what marketing is nailing. So the second email that I would send once, you know, I told people my story is, and, and you know, some people were responding to that was, how can I help? And I just was candid. I said, look, hey, I just want to say thank you so much for joining our email list and newsletter. One thing that's really important to me is connecting with people in our community. I read every single email and I respond to every single personal email or any single response. I just wanted to know, like, how, how can I help? Is there anything I can do to help and serve? And it's very candid, it's very personal, and so many people will start to write back to you. So let's just say you get you know one to three or one to five new email subscribers per day using the tactics and strategies that we're outlining in this module. What will happen is you actually get you know 20 to 50 actual responses from people, like the open and click-through rates and the response rates is incredible, and you can actually start building and cultivating your 1,000 true fans. You can actually start to build that trust. So this is something that I did in the very, very early days of starting Founder until it just got way too overwhelming. It took about a year before it just got to the point where I just couldn't respond to every single email. But I really maxed myself out and I'm really proud of myself that I did do that because there are still people that are in the early days of the tribe, the founder tribe that still like, you know, they trust us, they know me, they know what we're building and they know how important our mission is and our brand and everything that we're doing. They know why founder should exist. And that's really, really important. So when you can get people to connect with your why and the content that you're producing and why you're so passionate about serving, that's where you can cultivate that incredible relationship. And that's how you develop a true fan. So we've found online this incredible checklist from the Mark Growth blog. So um, here are some questions that you can use as a gut check to really know if you are cultivating your thousand true fans. Are you nurturing every single relationship? Are you constantly producing great value? Do you drive real tangible results for your audience? Do you give more than you receive? Are you constantly using one channel to reach your audience? Are you aware of who your ideal customer actually is? Do you solve real problems that your target audience faces? Are you honest and vulnerable in your communication? Do you listen to other people's concerns and problems? Start responding every single day to people in your community. Start cultivating your audience and your tribe. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next lesson. The Founder Mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.